Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to our tutorial showcase of The Wandering Village. So last time we did a lot of rebuilding and I'm very happy about the top part of the map. We have the houses in an area where I want them. We have the farm symmetrical, water next to future air wells, pantry next to kitchens. This is all good. I'm not happy here. We're probably gonna change up the structure here this episode as we Zoom out, I think we are going to need that shrine. We're going to stay in the desert because we really do need more sand because we need more housing for the future. We're about to get some more villagers as well. We currently have each cluster here is 32 housing. We have enough for 64 plus 16, 80. So we should be good for now. Let's consider this movement. And also, someone did mention, we're losing health because we're extracting bile. So, I'm just gonna turn the building off, and also send out the doctors. And we're gonna heal him twice to make sure he's full health. We don't really need the bile. Speaking of the bile, we also need a decontamination building, which we have not manned, but we have rebuilt. They have plenty of biogas and biome, so we're fine there. I want to turn this area into another farm. I want to shift the farming out. So in essence, we're going to need um, how many farms exactly? We need four farms, I think. We need one for cactus if we're in the desert, a small one, and then corn, tomato, and beet and wheat on rotation. Um, the area up here is really nice for a farm. No, oh, not that. So, just wanted to keep things symmetrical, and then we basically farm up, and then down here, we basically just farm in the zones next to it. It's a little tight, so I'm not completely sold on this idea. We'll talk about this later. Uh, we have tomato as a plant, and we do have plenty of water, so we can probably consider start planting it to increase our food variety. Hmm. Interesting how we don't have any water in storage, but we do have plenty of cactus. It should be fine. Max effort. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I want to move the herbalist all uh, and also the scavenger hunt. We're probably going to pop out maybe one. Now let's keep it on the bottom. I don't know what I'm going to do with this road. I don't know if I want this road coming through the middle or not. So we could do a bottom road, but I guess it makes more sense if they're on the edge. So if we shift this one over by one, two, three, I think we can fit the three like this and then just keep this road somewhere over here on top. I want to move this to the other side. I actually want to, okay, so let's do what I know I want to do for sure. Herbalists, I want to be moving to the edge right here. And then we're going to put this at wherever the field ends for this building. So technically right here. I want to harvest this, give our harvester some stuff to do. If we're going to do a berry farm up top, it's going to be like over here. I'm going to get rid of all this area. It's going to be farms in the future. This is also going to have to shift, but we're waiting for this to finish. Which should be soon, right? Six left. I'm going to pick up a few more. Just two. Okay. Um, they're going to be unemployed. Not anymore. We have five of each for the employment efficiency going up. We're not researching because we have no knowledge. Let's go a little faster. There's a chance of danger. We might want to start running for it. They're get gathering enough herbs.
All right, at least this is just regular wooden stone. Uh, we're going to still send them out. This is so quick. One hour. And then try and send... Oh, that is so fast. And then we'll grab the sand. I think we stay in the desert because we need more sand. I wonder if they can inherit the herb garden. They might not be able to. This also tells how overlapping farms work. I think we only get one worker for now. Right, okay. So this works out. They inherit the plants. Perfect. And then I want to put the doctor right next to them. And we can also take advantage of this little piece of land here that otherwise would just be wasted. And then we can clean up this road, which I don't like. I kind of prefer the road coming straight down. And then I also want to fix this side. I don't know what to do with these two buildings. They're so oddly shaped. Um, it's, it's kind of a mess. I mean, we're working around these ombu spikes. Sometimes they can work out beautifully, like here, sort of, and also here. Because up here in the future, we're going to have basically a kitchen here, a kitchen here, and then a pantry in the middle with the ombu spike for the houses in this area. How many knowledge do we get back? Or how much knowledge, I guess? One, okay. Um, hmm. We don't want to do anything to hurt our beast. Sleep command. Man, I guess we could do windmill. Not exactly producing it, but that would be like the ultimate food requirements. So let's shave off four. Pop this back. Pop this back. Yeah, we're looking for more sand, so let's go north. Get some iron. Did we make it out of the... Yeah, we did. So he's going to fall asleep before he gets to that spot, but that's fine. Running is tiring. Will someone please fix this? These are not actually working right now because we don't have the raw materials. This actually might have the wrong. It's okay, we're gonna tear them down again. I know. Can't make up my mind. The fact that Ambu is sleeping right now is good for us. Actually, I wanna cancel that. Don't destroy that yet. Don't destroy that yet. What can fit here? It's a five-width building. 
Oh, we also have to build the nursery. This is too long. I mean, it's fine where it is. Maybe something in the future. I mean, it's the same size as this, but the, the difference doesn't make sense. It's a five width. Maybe a, you know, the flour mill that we're creating right now, the windmill. Maybe it'll fit, who knows. We're gonna figure out how to move these after they come back. Now, about those two buildings we just destroyed, Maybe we fit it this way? It's still gonna be here, we're just flipping them. Five width, this is the marker. This is the building that's actually just too big for this area. This is weirdly placed. I don't know what we, what room did we save this for. This is a weird. This is not good. What if we? But it doesn't make sense because we're so far from away from the storage. I guess this makes a decent amount of sense. This is also five width, huh? Wait, what if we... What if we put it here? No, then there's no way for this road to connect. We would have to like shift this one in. And then this would go here. And then that road can curl down around that Umbu spike. Ooh, I might like that. So basically, we kill off a row of plants. And then we kill this again. And then the road also has to change back to what it was before. Like I said, cannot make up my mind. At least we have plenty of workers who will work with us. Uh, so first things first, village doctor getting shifted. Then iron furnace. Oh, no, 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 wrong place for the road. Oh, wait. It's because I placed that wrong. Needs to be here. Get rid of those plants. All right. You know, they'll harvest some of them. If they, yeah, if they have the herb ready, we'll get the herbs. You will be destroyed for now. He's sleeping, so we have time to adjust. Got to get rid of these. I think we finally figured out. I'm. I'm Decently happy with this. We can also start thinking about our wheat farm, or potato, um, tomato farm. Uh, also nursery, tree nursery. This is something that we should build. But I have to get rid of a few trees to build this, that's the thing. Wait, how could this efficiency be 0%? I, I don't understand. It's showing me 100%, but like, aren't we just going to be wrecking the trees that we're building this on top of? Ah, mother trees. The yellow ones. The ones that actually spawn more trees. So it cares about how many mother trees are nearby. Seems like three is all it requires to be at 100%. Each one gives 33%. 
this is like the perfect slot, I guess, right here. Yeah, this covers that top tree. But there's an Ambu spike. So we want to be a little bit higher than the Ambu spike. We can also hug maybe one higher. Or two higher so we can get a road there. Yeah, that's not bad. That's almost out as well. Go again. We're gonna keep him at full health. And then we're gonna turn this off. This is super important. <laughs> the healing comes back. Not full health, I guess. Well, Heal him if he gets poisoned in the future. I guess we can do double dung collection, but I guess we don't need to produce that much compost. We're not using compost. Just do one doctor. Two herbalists, one, one, yeah, that's fine. We're gonna do three of these. We have six unemployed workers. Well, a couple of them is going to go back over here. Technically three. And then this one's rebuilt. Looks like the Ambu is going to wake up. We should feed it. It's not producing us enough poop. Oh, he's not up yet. He just wagged his tail when he's still sleeping. Hmm? I thought I told two people to get off. Let's steal some workers. Yeah, there's definitely unemployment. Give me the other guy. He's coming from somewhere. Ambu is up. Yeah, so it's jungle biome, desert biome, and I want to say mountain biome. Yeah, not enough supplies for those.
All right, let's see what this building looks like. Oh, this just takes saplings, right? So this doesn't actually produce wood. And then we plant the sapling with the next tier building once it's researched, which means we need more knowledge. I think this is just gathering a resource. It's not actually gathering wood. I might be wrong. Is there a sapling? Yeah, there's a sapling resource. It's just to gather saplings. We need the next tier to plant trees. We can go far. I see some more people in front of us, so we can recruit a couple more to work for us. Let's shave that down. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's feed it some more. Ah, oh, just shot it. Yeah, it's a quick animation. We missed it pretty easily the first couple times. Since we are gonna get, keep mistaking that, because we're gonna get some more workers. Time to maybe increase some food variety. Those can be closed down now. We don't have any more knowledge. Four additional workers. Some of them will go to the farm. Wonder if we should farm this area or should we just keep going north? Because this seems to be. Doesn't make sense to put another farm here. We can do sort of this type of symmetry, basically six spots ahead. One, two, three, six, one, two, three. So they put a farm here, basically. We have enough ba berry gatherers. Two is fine. Alright, he's not going to sleep here. More sand, which is what we're looking for. Actually, okay, wheat grows in this temperature. Tomato as well. Tomato takes more water. Three water. Corn takes one water. Beet takes two. Wheat takes one. We can't make bread. The tomato is like the food variety improvement that we can hope for. We have a hunger issue? They're working full time. Hmm. I mean, efficiency is good. It's not a bad, like, we don't have a big issue here. 
I want to do a small farm in the beginning. I guess we'll we'll do to tomatoes, but we'll keep it small scale in the beginning because water pressure might be tight for the cactus. Oh, I think they're just not harvesting them because we don't need the water. And if we do need it, they'll harvest it. So kitchen number three is going to pop out. I mean, if they have time... Maybe we saved a slot for roads? Is that what we did this for? I don't know, actually. Why would we need a road here? I feel like this can just shift over one. It's four width. Oh, this one's done. I'm just going to space out the farm for the future. We have it as a reference. Builders, like, we fired so many of us. We actually have four unemployed. Well, some of them has to go back and chop trees afterwards. Grilled tomatoes. Coming to a menu near you soon. All right, we're in a hot zone, which means no growth, but not so bad that they decompose. Not enough tomatoes, not harvested yet, yep. Oh! Builds three, forget to set anyone out. Classic. Alright, it's gonna be a lot of sand. Yeah, we send them out, they just need the other worker to come back. I don't know if we're gonna miss that or hit that exactly. It might hit us. I think we dodge it. We can play tight to speed up afterwards. Sawmill's ready. We'll go take a look at it soon. We're gonna clear that, no problem. I 
Are we going to build a road for it? I guess we could. It's going to be temporary. Yeah, we're just gathering seedling here. Minimum effort is fine. Alright, 15 glass. I think we have enough now. I feel like we can queue up the three, the four cottages here. Because we know we're definitely going to build these in the future. Turn it off. I'm not going to build. I mean, it's going to be a beet farm in the future, but not right now. Or we can tell it to do more cactus, because there's seemingly not enough going on. Ombud's tired again. I mean, we just told it to run. Makes sense. Wait, there are only... Is the other party already out, out of range? Ooh, this shrine, we almost missed it. When the next group come back, we're definitely building that. We're never definitely going for that. But yeah, I like this layout a bit better. Oh, how big is the windmill? We did research it. Ah, okay, yeah. So yeah, windmill can go here in the future. Or we can build it now. We have no weed, but we might as well build it now. And that little slit, maybe a water tank. We can fit a lot of things here. Water tank, pantry, two storage materials. Petrified bones, rare resources, sign of spores, keep our distance, grab some stone and leave. Let's go for it. I think they get poisoned, maybe? Yeah, and then we have our doctor ready. We got stone slab, so the advanced version. This one has a poison. You go for the shrine. The other we're going to heal up before we tell them to go again. I mean, these dung could be moved here because they are three width, just like that. If we really want to put it near the farms, it would also make sense. Not that that spot is bad. I think it fits pretty snug there too. 14 stone. Shrines covered. Ready scavenged. Let's get iron then. Questions like in the future, if we get one knowledge, what do we do with it? Yeah, not anything that's super good. We will need this until we can plot trees. Scout Tower also feels good because then we can seek out more knowledge from the surroundings, but we need four knowledge. Bakery seems good. Wheat seems like a reliable source. This is probably going to be a berry farm, and this is not. This is probably going to be another farm. Maybe a wheat farm up above. Yeah, put down those new houses. Water is super tight. Okay, feels kind of bad. Wait. 
feel like the placement's off. with how do we fit this here did we give up plots I guess we did because the idea is we split the farm sort of half half with these water tanks Wait, that doesn't even cover it I oh, need to be oh, we need to be one lower Okay, so we give up two pieces each. Cactus, four people. Only three? Feels like there's a food shortage. We can give them all the field they need. They can't farm it without the water. Oh no 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 no. I think when we dragged it, it told it to take out the spike so that they can. You know what? You don't eat that many. Your water drain. are going hungry. Well, yeah, the field doesn't look very promising. There's a water shortage. That's the problem. Maybe it's time to get out of the desert. Looks like we're leaving the desert no matter what. This way or that way. Right? Looks like the green biome. So we'll be out we have a new scenery. better. Those two new ones will grow into the range. I think we're out of places to go. I mean, if we only get one knowledge back, then we can't do much with that either. Only one knowledge. Even this one has nowhere to go. We have nothing visible on the map. Should have more water for both of these, but you can see tomatoes quite extensive. 
All right, we got enough houses for 96 people. We don't need to build houses for a while. Did the windmill get built? Yeah, we don't need this right now. That's taking up a worker. Not enough poop. Could just double the production. Never knew we needed more poop. Oh wow, tight fit. All right, two trees, two trees, it's all right. I don't think we need oh no i don't think we need road for this just let them have space to build more berries let's turn this off we don't need him here Gonna tell him to go north. Grab our last bit of sand. We're gonna be okay soon. We're leaving the desert. some more sand. I mean, we have a couple glass, a couple iron saved up. It's not the end of the world. And we can keep one worker there. It's not too bad. Full staff, full staff. Not full staff. We also need one staff for this. Happy and healthy. 100%. Not hungry. Not tired. I think we're in a great spot. And about to get out of the desert. Grab some people. It's gonna have some poison, I think, in this area, but happy to change environments. We've been in the desert for a long time. Hungry, hungry. I mean, I think we might need to build a couple food stand. We lack wood. Thought we were chopping over here. Oh, we actually had unemployed people? Let's slow these down a little. Or maybe chewing through our raw material a little bit too fast. Alright, our watering machines will be back. There's a spore cloud for poison, gotta watch out for. Poison forest to explore.
Has the climate not changed? Still arid? Humidity still bad? I would imagine it would be actually pretty good here. There we go. Humid, normal, low. Low poison. Air toxin is low. Ground toxin is high. It's not promising. Jungle biome. We have never been in the jungle biome. Alright. So in this case... We might need to redo a lot of things. So cactus is no longer needed. I'm going to turn this farm not off, but um, let's do one person and only harvest. No more planting. We'll get rid of these cactuses. We have this. This is same thing. Corn doesn't grow in this, so we're going to switch to beets again. We have 36 corn left. We'll finish cooking that. Berries are still going. Tomatoes in a perfect place. And then we'll do some wheat, I guess. I'm gonna start patrolling and burning stuff if they start contaminating us. Hospital is gonna be double staffed. Yeah, a lot of hungry people are people who work over here and can't get access to food. So food stall probably are needed. We'll plan that out next time. New challenges in the desert. Uh, not desert, in the jungle. I mean, our housing provides probably the best resistance we can give our citizens. It's going to be up to the doctors here. I'll probably up this. Three, three. Quarters are important. Let's drop these. I, mean, I don't really want to, but I guess we will. We're out of sand. This can... Shut down for a bit. Free up some workers. I don't know if three places with two workers versus two places with three workers. I don't know if it's actually a good deal here, but it's fine. We're about to get a couple new workers. Still a couple things to build. I'm missing quite a few posts. I'm trying to harvest out all the cactus. Which I guess I don't really care. Let's start. Corn doesn't work. Beet, wheat. We can start planting wheat. Nice! Four people is good. So wheat farm, tomato farm, beet farm, closing it down soon farm. Yeah, these aren't growing, so this can be shut off. Which way is it going? Left or right? Oh, it's coming back to us. Um, Ambu, take a break. Wait, if he sits down... It's 
bad both ways. Oh man. Shave these down to three each. Poisoned. They need to be healed first. Yeah, the doctors are going to be busy here. Is the storm passed? Can we start moving? Oh, we're moving, but the storm has not passed. Oh, Ambu! Two got poisoned. Uh, unavoidable. Feels like we it's moved so slowly. I feel like we're just gonna run right into it. Like, I don't think we have luxuries of general workers right now. Yep, we hit the toxin. It's gonna last a day, I think. Alright, boys. Burn down those toxic plants. Ooh, a mother tree grew over here. We can't really cut that down. It might contaminate our crops. It might contaminate our berries, which would be really bad. Stop that. Actually, we don't need to do that. I think... Grew in the middle of the road? I think they will automatically run there to burn them down. Oh, it's all over the place. Torch it, baby. So they're automatically getting marked. I think we got through it. Phew. Okay. Well, I guess we could continue this path. We just got here, but I think we'll end our episode here. A bit of an encounter with poison effects. Gotta change up our entire plan. We need more knowledge. That's basically what's stalling us. Also kind of want to move the mushroom farm in terms of building. We have a very slow wood production, even though I think I maxed it out. Yeah, it's kind of tough. We're, we can cut some trees. We just need to save the mother trees, essentially. Oh, that needs to be burned down. That looks just bad. Um, but I think we survived the worst of it. Stone's gonna be done. We have a pretty massive farm system now. Water tankers around the farm. Yeah, that one's a little bit odd, but that's mainly for this. And we do have grow tomato, that's got to change to beet soup as we're back on the beet farming. This one's just closed. That was silly. What, what, what were we doing? We weren't planting the, the wheat. 
Uh, we'll get knowledge and we'll try to get the bread online. Uh, we do have the windmill already. We can basically turn the wheat into flour and then we can use the flour with bakery into actual uh, bread. These two are both closed down because we just don't have enough of the resources. Seems to be pretty tight on the herb farming side, but we maxed it out. We can probably extend it a little bit. We'll see what we do down here, but it looks pretty okay. Um, we could always use more helping hands. Hopefully we pick up some more people and we'll continue next time. Until then, bye.